All right, Polygoners, we are going to be going into game a point. It's going to be Ascension to Ire. We are going to be looking at a Zerg versus Zerg. Psionic Aftermath has been all killed in every series that they have played in the Hope Team League. We will see if they can take even one victory off of Nocturnal Gamers, off one victory in the Hope Team League. They are a great bunch of guys, but they have been the underdogs in this event. But definitely a tenacious group of individuals. We are going to um, see Zerg versus Zerg, which could be even more volatile. Zenador, of course, a player who has done nothing but cheese his opponents. Um, maybe he's going to take advantage of the volatility of this matchup. Maybe he's going to play super normal like uh, our caster suggested. Who the heck knows? But we're going to be getting into this game. It is Ascension to Ire. Sluggy, can you tell us about ZVZ on this map? As I always say, uh, the only matchup where there's no cheese would be ZVZ. Uh, even the cheese builds are actually inviolable builds. And, and the reason why I call that is because scouting is not really as much of a viable option when it comes to ZVZ. Now, the most uh, prominent cheese when it comes to ZVZ, um, from everyone's definition, would be the 1312. The biggest thing to watch out for is the recognition that it's a 1312. And to do that, you have to have the correct overlord placements. Now, in this map, there are four different ways a Zergling can come in. It is very important for Xenador or uh, the other player to place those over uh, overlords so that the cheese, uh, so that they know how a cheese is coming. Yeah. No, you're right about that, and 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 we've already got one base uh, plays coming in here uh, right. from 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 our uh, from our purple Zerg player, who, by the way, is going to be representing Psionic Aftermath, spawning in the top left corner. It is going to be Hiohu. Hiohu? I I don't know. Hiohu. Yeah. <laughs> one or the other. All right, spawning in the bottom right. It is the challenger. Uh, I mean, not the challenger, the uncontested <laughs> Nocturnal Gamer Xenador. Xenador's the challenger? What the heck have we been uh, casting then? He is going to challenge himself <laughs> on a quest of all uh, kills. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay, alright, so he's yeah. playing a game against himself right now. That's what right, it's Yo. the man versus the man. Can I do it? You know, I I, I want to comment on something. You said it'd be like a, a real mind game play if he decides to play a macro game instead of doing a cheese. That's right. Well, what's this fast expansion here from Zendor, Buggy? Is he doing okay, exactly to, what you said uh, he would? Right. I want to add it up. Uh, I mean, I want to follow it up. So what Hyohu went for is he went for uh, 1312. And the Overlord see it, so he knows he's going for... A cheese. No, the queens are being pulled back to the main base, but actually, gosh damn, Xenador made a spine crawler already. Now, you know, macro versus macro, this is such a huge disadvantage, but it seems that with the preparations, like almost as if he sees the future, he can Oh, probably here we go. Him. Links are going to run in here, and the Bailey's get a nice little connect on uh, on Xenador's links. More links are going to die. The crew one queen goes down. The second queen hasn't gone down yet. Spine crawler down to nearly half health, but does Kyahu have enough? To be able to take down everything, the spy crawler does go down. And the second queen is at red health. Will it go down? No, it does stay alive. And Zendor is able to fight off this rush. And I think Kyohu is in a terrible spot now. The hatchery is still up and running here for Zendor, which means more larvae and more lings. Sluggy, is this game over? This is looking pretty damn devastating. Just, if there's no big uh, mess ups, then Zendor is probably going to take this game easily. Uh, one spine crawler, it might be okay, and he recognizes that it's already a lost cause. GG, the game has been called. Oh Not boy, I <laughs> the GG is <laughs> called and uh, Nocturnal Gamers Zenador. This is a guy to uh, this is a guy to look out for. He's got some sick all ins, man. He just he just pulled off four kills, and I'm not <laughs> even sure if he broke a sweat. Like. We obviously can't see Xenador, like we can't see him sitting at his computer and playing, but do you think he was just completely lax this whole time? Maybe maybe took a drink of Mountain Dew or something and just had fun? You know, I don't see there's a particular gap in between these players when it comes to MMR, but the way Xenador took these matches, 
Oh man, uh, I am actually suspecting that he has some experience when it comes to these best of uh, certain amount of games because his planning was pretty damn spot on. And that's a compliment I give out rarely. <laughs> no, I agree with you with that. His planning was pretty damn spot on. And, and you can see, I mean, you can see just how well he knows how each game is going to be played out. You know, he came in mm -hmm. with a game plan and executed it well. And you could tell this is a guy, he probably plays a lot of games, understanding right. each and every scenario, trying to figure out what build order he's going to do next as soon as he sees who he's up, which race he's up against next. I mean, just great, great execution here from and from Nocturnal Gamers player and uh, yeah, I mean, Psionic Aftermath definitely put up a fight. They've definitely put up you know one hell of a fight, but it just they weren't. It wasn't enough. They couldn't secure uh, a single victory. Yeah, that was, and I think all of the games today ended up pretty much like what at around the fifth minute mark or before. Uh, to <laughs> it was yeah, smoothly was... for like four games straight on. I gotta hand it to him. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty darn quick victory. And I do think that is probably going to be it, right? Because uh, it, it was a 4-0 yeah. finish. Uh, right. So there you have it. Nocturnal Gamers uh, wins this one against Sonic Aftermath 4-0. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.